you guys want to see something in Florida that might be pretty cool to look at? Nice, dark, beautiful. Looks like it's about to downpour somewhere over there. Across the street, here's I-4. You look, I don't know why you guys can see it, but I'll try to get it like right there. You can see it's downpouring over there. Florida is one of those states that's just weird, but I love it. On to the today's video. It is time once again for the Halloween Horror Night construction updates to begin. I promise you I'm not going to wear this shirt there. Um, but it is time for Halloween Horror Night's 33 construction update to start up again. Uh, basically Universal announced all the scare zones, all the houses, all the shows. Rude? Yes, <laughs> but um, yeah, it is time. Um, everything's fully been announced. Horror Nights begins at the end of August, which is there. This is the most. Of, this is the time that they begin. Uh, Disney does Mickey's like middle of August, uh, so let's get to it. So as we are walking up to the gates here at Universal, with just went through security. Uh, Universal has it allows announced their final house which is again a Universal Monsters house which is supposed to take place after Bride of Frankenstein house a couple years ago. I figured they were going to do something with Dark Universe. I, I am kind of looking forward to seeing it. I didn't really see any concept artwork yet for it or not but I'm looking forward to that. And then the second thing that really caught my attention, I didn't see it at first when my friends pointed it out to me five scare zones this is going to be including outside of diagon alley even for uh, the death eaters so something really cool is happening with the park that they're going to be spanning on their scare zones so you really have nowhere to hide uh, and then they announced again halloween nightmare fuel that is also returned as well so there is a lot to do and lots to see well, let's see what they have already gotten started from the last time that I was here. I am excited for this. My favorite time of year. Let's do this. After July 4th, it is spooky season. Where the old surf shop was, and Cinnabon, they have really gotten to work on this. Whatever this is going to be, it's a brand new experience. I think they said like brand new shopping or something. And then even windows displays at the Universal Studio store. Nothing yet for Halloween Horror Nights related. And the booths outside are still full of just regular merch. Nothing Halloween Horror Nights related yet. But before we head into Universal Studios Florida, I'm gonna stop inside the preview center because a couple things here. When they announced uh, Dream, uh, Dark Universe, I didn't get a chance to see if there's anything new for merchandise. So I'm kind of curious. And also, the beat builders are now performing here in City Walk. Pretty cool. One of the more spookier lands that I'm looking forward to in coming to Epic. About time we got a Monsters Land. And so far, the shirt still looks the same. Shot glasses, blankets. Look, license plates. Everything still seems to be the same. I think the poster's new. Come over here. Yeah, everything looks to be the same. Nothing new has came or changed. All right, let's make our way over to the park now. Let's get inside. And also, I want to point out. On Universal's website, they haven't they have put up for sale the Halloween Horror Nights multi-night tickets. And it seemed everybody was freaking out after Express sold out really fast. After Frequent Fear Pass and Frequent Fear Pass Plus sold out. Um I would recommend 
coming to Universal, going up to any of the ticket booths, and actually talking with the workers. Because last year they did it, and I was still able to pick up my frequent fear pass after they said they were quote unquote sold out, and they weren't. So just be alert of that. Or they're gonna re put them back on sale sometime in August. So just be alert, put money aside, and get your tickets. Oh my. Must be one strong storm last night. You can see even as they're walking up, you're starting to see lighting trucks head up around the front of the park for horror nights. Now we got two over here and I believe one over there. Nothing's up yet. And soon we will get the marquees for Halloween Horror Nights. As we do walk through the park. I, I'll say this now. We will have a scare zone just right when you guys do first start walking right in right away. And nothing is set up yet. I think we're going to make our way. I wasn't going to go down the streets of Hollywood. I'm feeling Minions Land real quick. Checking out the streets of New York first. And I want to be alert as well to everybody. Because Horror Nights will start in August. Make sure everybody brings comfortable shoes. Make sure you guys get a freestyle cup or a bottle of water at all times. Keep yourselves hydrated. It's going to be a hot one. Now first up will be Streets of New York. And we're going to do something a little different this time around. Well, no, not really. We're going to still do the same thing. But I can see a whole bunch of new stuff as well. And I also see a lot of stuff that shouldn't be there. And also with the new Mega Movie Parade. I don't know. I can know what new lighting is for what. I am in the smoking section right now. Um, the band's playing up, but you can see on top of these buildings, you got a lot of the lights that are now up, and these lights do project stuff down onto like projections that go on the built on, on the ground and all that fun stuff. Makes the zones look a whole lot better at nighttime. And I'm also expecting I'm gonna pause this real quick because I have the power of doing that now. I wound up stopping the recording anyway with all the pigeons here. I do feel like something is going to be here as well. But there are the lightings that I was talking about all throughout the top of the buildings. And then right here in front of us, I'm expecting this to be the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. And if we walk up just a tad bit farther, we have Lighting Trust right here in front of us which are our always two houses and also so we'll walk up a tad bit farther here as rocket goes by there is another lighting trust right there as well i wouldn't be shocked because this is from ghostbusters if ghostbusters frozen empire is seating somewhere just right over in this direction as the tribute to the Ghostbusters prop right here. The lights all around us. I'm just looking up so you guys can see the lights for all the props. All the lights, there's no props in the New York section yet. It's just lighting that's up here. Since this is the biggest scare zone, they probably don't want to do this one last. And that's really all I can see. 
here in the streets of New York, going all the way down. If we were to stop over by, say, Stink Alley, sidewalks closed, and they don't want nobody really walking back here. They had a nice little The Last of Us bar here. Be pretty cool if they do that, something like that this year as well. You see a whole lot more construction going on right now all over the place and I'm kind of curious to know how they're doing the Mega Movie Parade. As we do walk up onto Fast and Furious, um, I'm going to step this way real quick. You can see right there, I want to zoom in. There's a lighting truss right there. And if I were to walk up just a tad bit farther, you might be able to see the tent or one of the houses that they have right here. Yeah, you can see the tent right, right there. So that's part of the house. So they're getting work this as fast as they can. On top of Richter's, you got more lighting up here. More lights just right up there. And we are coming up on a San Francisco and boom. Shea Alcatraz is still under its refurbishment. They do that little setup bar right there, which I think they will have available for HHN. But here we go. Our first real kind of like somewhat set piece. Along the way. This is one of the more cramped scare zones. But a lot of people do like it. See, I'm trying to figure out how this is all going to work and everything, but because they announced all the scare zones, we just don't know where the layout's going to be taking place at. So I will get a thumbnail real quick, work on it myself. And as you will walk down, we have a little bit of a stage here and a sign, which last year it had the background that said Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I think I have a picture of that, which I will try to install like right now. And they had uh, the peak up. Halloween Horror Bar back here as well, which did really good and a lot of people like it. So, even with David Pumpkins, so a lot of people are definitely going to be wanting to do this to come back in. Like I said, it was a success last year, it's going to be a success this year. Someone thinking to check Diagon Alley, see if they have anything out for Death Theaters yet, but. Okay. Yeah, it has something on here last year. You can see there's nothing set up yet. Normally, there are lighting trusts outside of Diagon Alley, but there's no lighting trust. But they do got lighting trusts there and right there, so I wonder if they're gonna have some booths right here for food. Only time would tell. As we do make our way up over to uh, theater that's empty and only get used for Halloween Horror Nights. You can see they already got lights set on top of there. I'll zoom in. And they have redone this whole stage for Halloween Nightmare Fuel. So just be alert of that. They have this place ready for Halloween Nightmare Fuel, which is rumored I've been hearing one of the final shows ever. And then normally just right outside, you have a house entrance just right here. Before we head through Central Park, I do want to just 
kind of cut through DreamWorks land and where ET Adventures is to see if they can actually do some queuing for Hornet, Halloween Hornet houses, which I believe they can do just right outside ET's adventure and possibly they enter the DreamWorks and then just have them cut off as they're going backstage. Because if you guys did HHN last year, you guys, if you remember how they did it for The Last of Us, oh yeah, that was kind of annoying. The walk wasn't really that good either, so it wasn't the best. So I'm just kind of curious seeing how they would do it. But I think they can figure it out. And now we're gonna head in to Central Park, which is one of the more creepier scare zones, which is one of my favorites. And again, we got some lighting trust up as well on both sides and lighting trust on the ground. Interesting. Maybe they gotta get put up still, I don't know. We'll have to come back and look. I don't know, there's a lot of lighting trust on the ground. So, there is plenty to see here. And only time will tell. I'm gonna guess these lighting trusts on the ground are gonna do something. And then of course this will get turned into a bar. And you got a lot of lighting trusses right outside of it. Entering the streets of Hollywood. And I so far I can just see the two lighting trust and then just like the streets of New York, a lot of lighting on top of the buildings that I believe are new. For anything else? We're gonna check out the Five and Dine. Here's the Insidious merch. And I figured that they would have had something out and about for, oh, what's it called? Oh, that's a little bit of a shirt. For Universal Monsters. Here's Ghostbusters, which looks really cool. I like it. Three. 33 even. A lot of fun stuff. They should just rename the Five and Dine to like a Universal Monsters or just a horror store in general that they do over in Islands. Do I need a drink? Yes, I am thirsty. I want to be smart. I'm grabbing H2O. I need lighting just all around us. There's really nothing to us left in his own. You got one lighting trust there, one over there by the tribute store. Which walking through the tribute store doesn't sound like a too much of a bad idea. In fact, let's see if we can find any Easter eggs inside the tribute store. For any anything Halloween Horn actually did it. As we are walking straight into Ghostbusters. Nothing really too much, it just goes busters. See Creature from the Black Lagoon, all the Chuckies. Oh, Cult of the Beast Baby, Slaughter Cinema 1, Arizona Cambios from the Planet Hell as well. Halloween 2, which I thought was going to be a house this year here. 
Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, like a uh, Trader Joe's, but yeah. Oh, I did. I did found one from uh, Halloween Horror Nights. I don't remember what year this was. This was the first year that we did Stranger Things. I don't again. I don't remember what year it was exactly. Is that Earl? Of course, Dueling Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. And then, of course. Back to the future, here's the Ghostbusters one, which is really cool. <laughs> Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! Oh, he's right here. First time to charm. I know, Beetlejuice. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I don't say that. Trying to get rid of me. No, never. Well, are we on? Oh, we're on. Oh, it's making the sequel. Hey, so, I, I got suggestions. Oh, Cause, cause uh, here we it's go. It's almost Halloween season. Uh, is it really because it's July? But, okay, go ahead. To me, to me, after the Fourth of July, it's Halloween okay, season. Sure. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say. Can, can, can you just go back and have your show again? Because you really miss it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm excited. For, <laughs> I'm excited for your movie. Ah, they shut us down. I'm excited for your movie, though. You, oh yeah, you're gonna be there, right? Opening day. Uh, I'll save you a seat. Sweet. Uh, nice. Nice. Uh, Rainy ladies. Maybe. Maybe. Only for you, maybe. Only sure. for you? Yeah. Only for you, though. Yeah, for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, for you. There you go. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead, go ahead. You're done. You're done with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and with the clouds looking a little mischievous, and I did see lightning over by Rip Ride and Back of Islands, it is time to get out of here. Hi! Hi! Hey, we're leaving. See y'all on the next one.